now. Don't even breathe. I'm sorry, Vera. That's quite all right. Hi, kids. Good, Good morning, morning. my boy. What's going on? That, darling, is what happens when a girl uses Lara Moore lipstick. The whole thing was George's idea. Isn't he wonderful? <laughs> well, George, I... Uh... Oh, it's nothing. Pat, really. You happened to mention that Lara Moore was putting out a new shade of lipstick called Tropical Fever, so I thought... Yes, I can see what you thought, but uh, I have news for you. Effective immediately, we no longer handle the Larimore lipstick account. What? Well, Larimore can't dismiss us just like that. We've got a contract. We had a contract which Mr. Larimore refuses to renew. I spent the whole morning with him, pleading with him, but his mind's made up and I couldn't change it. Oh, Pat, don't let it get you down. I never liked Larimore lipstick anyway. It smears. So did Mr. Larimore's signature on our commission checks. <laughs> but we could always cash them. But, Pat, that's our biggest account. What will we do? Well, we're certainly not going to close the Steve Morgan Advertising Agency just because we lost a client. Well, no, it... Vera, hold that, will you please? Sure. Vera, please. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Oh, Mr. Sheffield. Yes? Does this mean we're through? Naturally. Wait, what am I saying? Of course not. You've only worked ten minutes and we'll have to pay you for an hour. Vera, take some more pictures of them, will you? For what? We just lost the lipstick account, remember? Well, that picture has other selling possibilities. Bathing suits, suntan lotions, sand for concrete. Use your imagination. Back to the gravel pits, slaves. Why do they call this place the Steve Morgan Agency? I thought Pat Brown was the boss. She has been for the past three years. Strike a pose, Mary. Is Mr. Morgan still in the Navy? Practically. They took him off a boat in San Francisco and put him in a rehabilitation center in Santa Barbara. Combat fatigue, or whatever they call it. He's so handsome. Gee, I remember my first job with this agency. I sure had a crush on Mr. Morgan. You weren't the only one. But he married Pat Brown. But what'll we tell Steve? We're not going to mention this to Steve. You'll have to say something when you see him. Oh, George, I can't go to Santa Barbara. Not now. I've got to stay here and make up the loss before Steve gets back. Oh, it would have happened if Steve were here. He'll understand. Oh, sure, he'll understand. But he'll also give me that old routine about a woman's place being in the home. And I like this business, George. I want to stay in it with Steve. When's he coming back? In two months, he said in his last letter. Well, I've made out a list of prospective clients, and I'm starting on number one today. And who is number one? The Tommy Tobacco Company, makers of smoothie cigarettes. Huh. Don't waste your time on that one. Why? Steve tried for months to sell them until old man Townley kicked him out of his office. Well, old man Townley isn't going to kick me out of any office. Naturally. He died two years ago. His son Mark is the head man now. Yes, I know. I'm having lunch at the Epicure with Mr. Mark Townley. Really? That's wonderful. No. Pat. Pat, you can't. Well, he asked me. I couldn't very well refuse. Well, you can't go. I won't let you do this to Steve. I'm merely trying to get an advertising contract for the agency. But, Pat, Mark Townley is a notorious playboy. He's a... he's a wolf. You know what a wolf is, don't you? Well, I should. I married one. <laughs> no, a Townley's not like Steve. He's dangerous. Champagne, yachts, chorus girls, you know, the love men leave them type. And what are you doing? Just baiting the wolf trap. George, dear, there's a limit to how these models can pose in bathing suits. All right. Send them home. Vera, wait a minute. You smoke smoothies, don't you? Yeah, want one? You know I don't smoke. But I want you to take some good poses of those models with that pack of smoothies. I don't get it. You will. Okay, but I still don't get it. Oh, no, you don't. She thinks she's having lunch at the Epicure with Mark Townley, but I won't permit it. I have a good chance to lend that account. Then why won't you permit it? Surely you've heard of that man's reputation. Yes. Isn't it exciting? Good luck, Pat. Thanks. Vera, stop her. George, darling, after all, she's having luncheon with a man in a public restaurant, not midnight supper in his penthouse. But Townley always has that penthouse gleam in his eye. I'm going along a chaperone. You're going to do nothing of the kind. You're going to sit right down there while I get these smoothie pictures, then you're going to have luncheon with me. But it's just that I promised Steve that... Would you be her guardian angel? Darling, you've done a wonderful job. And if anything should ever go wrong, which it won't, I'll be the first to assure Steve that you tried your best to warn her, but she just wouldn't listen. May I help you? 
I'd like to speak to Mr. Steve Morgan. Mr. Morgan? Mr. Morgan. I mean, uh, Mr. Lieutenant Morgan. Hello, Lita. I thought you were still in Santa Barbara. That's what everyone thinks, including my wife, so don't let on I'm here. I want to surprise you. Oh, but... Hello, George. Hello there. Well, where is she? Hmm? The lovely lady, where is she? She's in there taking some pictures with her. Steve! <laughs> Good old George. Gee, I'm glad to see you. You know, you haven't changed a bit. Oh, sure I have. I joined the club, been playing handball, I must have taken off four or five inches right there. Baby! Oh! Oh! Steve! Steve! Do you know that's not who you think it is? Vera! Hello, Steve. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought you were Pat. You look just like Pat from the... Oh, with your head under that thing. I feel just like Pat now. Where is she? Oh, uh, uh, she'll be back. You come along and have lunch with us. I don't want any lunch. I want to see my wife. What's the matter? What's so mysterious? Huh? Oh, nothing's mysterious. Pat just left to have lunch with Mark Townley. Yeah, she didn't expect you back for another two months. Oh, so she's going around with Mark Townley. Oh, now, Steve, she's not going around with anybody. This is the first time she's met the man. And they're having lunch? Now, let me explain. Pat thinks she can land the Townley Tobacco Company's advertising account. We don't need Townley's business. Yes, we do. We just lost Laramore lipstick. Lost Laramore? That proves it. A woman's place is in the home. Yeah. Any idea where this little rendezvous is taking place? They're having luncheon at the Epicure. Well, I'll break that up. Now, wait a minute, Steve. If Townley finds out Pat's a married woman, she'll never get the account. I need a wife. Not a new account. I hate to say this, Vera, but you're not very tactful. Why, George, it always pays to tell the truth. Cigarette? Oh, yes, thank you. I just love smoothies. <coughs> smoothies are my favorite cigarettes. Really? That's good. I never could get used to them. I like to play. Well, smoothies could be everybody's favorite cigarette, Mr. Townley. If in advertising your product, you could, you could get a new approach. Oh, that's for me. <laughs> I love a new approach. Oh, well, let me tell you some of the things I have in mind for smoothies. Oh, but this isn't the time or a place. Oh, well, when? Well, I couldn't possibly do it before, uh, tonight. Tonight? Sure. When you're trying to land a prospective client, don't you usually entertain him, show him the town? Well, yes, but you've seen the town. Not all of it. There's a new show opening at Twilight Roof. Well, the Twilight Roof is hardly the place for a business conference. On the contrary. I've closed some of my most interesting deals at the Twilight Roof. <laughs> <laughs> Someone you know? That handsome flyer that just came in. He could double for my boss. Steve Morgan? The resemblance is startling. Well, I wouldn't know. My acquaintance with Morgan was rather brief. What time shall I pick you up this evening? Well, I... Oh, Steve! Oh, 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 you'll never know how I missed you. Oh, I've missed you too, darling. Oh, it'll be wonderful having you back in the office again, boss. Who cares about the office? Well, I do. I'm working on some business. Looks like you're getting it. Oh, oh I, I believe you two know each other. Hello, Conley. Mm -hmm. Won't you sit down? We were just leaving. Oh, oh, we can stay for a minute. Good. Oh, darling, please don't spoil everything. We have a good chance to land this contract. Look, I am not interested yes, in... Yes, we're all interested in smoothie cigarettes. We were just discussing some advertising ideas. Yes? Yes. 
I think Miss Brown has some very interesting angles. Who's Miss Brown? That's me, remember? You've called me Pat for so long, he's forgotten I have a last name. I see. Where shall I pick you up this evening? Why must you pick her up? Because we're going to the Twilight Room. Oh, why don't you get someone and come along? No, thanks. I'll be very busy. Oh, that's too bad. I... So will Miss Brown. Oh, haven't you heard? I've called an emergency staff meeting for tonight. I want you in conference at 8 o'clock. Oh, well, then I'll, I'll pick you up right after the meeting. Uh, no, Tom. This is going to be an all-night session. Uh, I hope you'll understand. Uh, yes. <clears throat> yes, of course. <laughs> Wait here. Shall we say tomorrow night? What? I'm afraid... I'll call you tomorrow. Huh. This one's on me. Forgive me. Forgive you. <clears throat> uh, it's only a step to your private office. Uh. Some messages for you, Miss Brown. Contact. Why don't you two go home? <laughs> That's what I've been trying to do ever since I found her, but... Oh, no. Miss Career Lady has to come back to the office. Oh, look at my desk. <coughs> oh, beg pardon, darling, your desk. Thank you. Oh, I have a thousand letters to dictate. I'll do the dictating. Sit down. My dear Miss Brown, after three years... Oh, let's go home, huh? Atta boy, Steve. Well, I see you rescued little Red Riding Hood from the big, bad wolf. Yeah, just in time, too. Conley was trying to make a date with her. <laughs> Don't blame him, darling. He didn't know I was married. Well, how could he? The way you worked to keep it a... secret. Where's the ring? I was known as Pat Brown professionally before and after I married you. And you know it too, you big lug. Here. Please. I'm sorry. Well, all right. With this... Ring. I the... Ring. Yeah. Take that back. Um. Oh, I'll call down me and explain everything. Oh, no, Pat. Why not? You want that smoothie account, don't you? Actually. Well, their advertising policy is dictated by Mark Townley. So what's wrong with Pat continuing to be Miss Brown until she sells Mark on the idea of hiring a new agency? She's right. If there's any selling to be done, I'll do it. Oh, I expect you to close the deal. But I think Pat should handle the situation until it's time for you to step in with that special brand of Morgan charm and salesmanship. Yeah, I'll think it over. Now, let's go home, huh? All right, darling. Coming, Vera? I'll get my hat. Uh, darling, I don't want to seem rude, but must we have Vera over for dinner on my first night home? Have you forgotten? Since you've been away, Vera's been living with me. Oh, yeah. Well, maybe she'd like to stay downtown tonight and see a show. We'll drop her at a hotel. Why? So she can get a room. Darling, the only room Vera could get would be in a hospital, if she promised to be dead in the morning. But I won't be. All aboard for Scarsdale. Ah, oh, looks mighty good. We told the maid she could leave early, so I'll run ahead and help with the dinner. Uh, thanks, honey. Vera's a swell gal. Yeah. So is your sister. But oh, we didn't ask her to come on our honeymoon. Now, darling. Oh, peace, quiet. This is what I've been dreaming about. The two of us together. And alone. Well, I think I'd better... Uh, you better not. Uh. Now that you'll be happy to get back in civvies. <laughs> oh, Steve, is it really you? 
Steve, you sweet boy. Now, Mother, Mother, give the other girls a chance. That's all I ever wanted was just a chance. Hello, Marie. Uh, well, uh, uh, everything's ready. Come on, let's see. Oh, you. Oh, 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 Please, please. Oh, oh, wonderful. Good night. We'll have your kids over soon. Yeah, wonderful. Yeah. Wonderful. Can you be sure and call us? Yeah. Yeah. Thank heavens. Alone at last. Oh, come on, baby. It's so nice to see you dear sweet children together again. Thank you, Mrs. Sheffield. And good night. Poor dear sweet Vera, left alone with all the work. Oh, I'm sure Pat would do the same for me. Isn't it nice having someone like that living with you? Such a help. <laughs> Such a help. I had a wonderful time. Wasn't it clever of my Georgie to think up the surprise party? Oh, Mother. Oh, so you're the uh, one. He's such a thoughtful boy, bless his heart. Yeah, yes, he is. I'm really quite proud to be his mother. <laughs> you should be proud. It isn't every woman that could be Georgie's mother. Well, I hope you didn't mind us barging in. I didn't want you to be bored your first evening home. <laughs> oh, not at all. It was, it was awfully thoughtful of you. I'm sorry you have to rush off like this, George, but... Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Well. Civilian husband. Oh, you're beautiful. <laughs> I'll bet you tell that to all the boys. Oh. Now you go back to sleep. It's only seven o'clock. Seven o'clock? I'll be ready in five minutes. Oh, ready for what? Uh, for work. Oh, 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 no, you don't. Your working days are over. Oh, no, they're not. We haven't landed that Townley account yet. <laughs> I'll handle the Townley account. I'll handle the Townley account. Now, look, I don't want my wife to My go. campaign will be conducted during business hours only. And my business hours are from 9 to 5. Yeah, but now listen to me. I hope you didn't use all hot water. Yeah, but... Long, cool, and irritating. Hello, Mr. Townley. About those advertising ideas, I think it might simplify matters if I knew what type of exploitation concerns your company. Uh, radio, magazines, uh... Oh, billboards. Yeah, I think billboards are too tame. Especially for the summer with all the competition from the manufacturers of bathing suits. Oh, will I see you tonight? Uh, well, I'm sorry. I'm afraid not tonight, Mr. Townley. Uh, Mr. Morgan wants me to attend another conference. But uh, when I have some sketches ready, may I show them to you? All right. Bye. Billboards. That's marvelous. You're so good at poster work. <laughs> and you can do the artwork. Now, first of all, I want you to make some sketches featuring silhouette. An idea came to me last night, a silhouette of a girl in a light... May I use my desk, please? Oh, of course. Thank you. Uh, uh, uh where will I go? Home. Oh, but darling, you said this morning... I didn't I... say anything this morning. You did all the talking. Now it's my turn. I married you because I wanted a wife. Not another career in the family. Well, it's just until I finish these sketches. I'm perfectly able to do that. Well, so am I. This is no place for me. Vera. Vera, can't you convince her? Wouldn't you rather have a home than that studio in there? Of course I would. But why talk about a home when I can't even rent a broom closet? Now, Vera, don't be facetious. Answer the man. If Steve can't sell you on the idea of being a home girl, how can I? But I think I have an idea that might settle this whole argument. Okay, shoot. Make it a contest. Now, both of you submit samples for the smoothie account. If Pat's idea is accepted, she stays here. If not, she stays home. 
for keeps. I'll buy that. Uh, oh, just a minute. I, What's I... the matter? You're losing confidence in yourself? <sighs> You've made yourself a deal, mister. And don't you forget it. Da, 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 da. What's he so happy about? That's a man for you. They don't give a woman credit for having any brains. Do you mean to tell me he's expecting me to lose? What do you think? I'll show him. And I'll help you. I'll do the best sketching for you I've ever done in my life. Had a girl. Hey, this is my private territory. What goes on? Well, after three years, I find myself a little rusty on billboard ideas. Thought I might find an inspiration in the files. But that's old stuff. Why don't you try something new? Old stuff is right. Look at that. It's the first poster I had made when I started the business. Cute. Mm-hmm. It's Pat. Oh, an adorable pose. I managed to hire an artist, but I couldn't afford a professional model, so Pat took over. Pat's liable to take over everything if you don't get busy. Oh, I didn't mean that. Not the way it sounded. But frankly, she isn't too good at poster ideas. Between you and me, I think that's why we lost the Larimore account. Yeah? That's why I suggested a contest between you two. I know how much you want her home. Yes, but I want her to be happy. Oh, she'll be happy. Now, come on, dust off that pre-war brain of yours and give me some work to do. I'll help you, Steve. I'll do the best sketching for you I've ever done in my life. Ah, thanks, Vera. You know, that's just what I needed. A good old-fashioned pep talk. I'll get at it right away. My inspiration. Oh, what do you know about advertising? I know plenty. That's my racket. I die at the First Street Follies, they're standing room only. And for every performance. I sell tickets. You want to sell cigarettes. Well, what's the difference? It isn't what you sell it, it's the way that you sell it. <laughs> and uh, that is not the way to sell it. You know something? I think you're right. Who's tight? I said you're right. Oh, sure, and I'm hungry, too. Have another martini. Look. Letter to the Morgan Advertising Agency. I'm starving. Well, put an olive in it this time. Uh, delete put an olive in it this time. You ain't got no olive. I ain't got... Will you stop? What? Oh, Morgan Advertising Agency, Radio Center. Attention, Mr. Steve Morgan. My dear Mr. Morgan, under separate cover, I'm returning the poster ideas which you so kindly submitted. Unfortunately, they are not the ammunition I need to interest our board of directors in your firm. Very truly yours, Mark Powell. It's a shame. Now, darling, don't worry. Maybe he'll go for mine. When did you send yours? I didn't. He's coming here to see them. Here? When? Oh, any minute. And don't think it was easy persuading him to come, either. It's a wonder he didn't ask you to bring your sketches to the twilight roof. He did. Pat! Pat! These posters are knockouts. Oh, Vera did a wonderful job. George, put them on the, the display board, will you? And George, will you stay here and help me with the exhibition? Sure, anything to help land the client. What are you doing?
do you want me to do with this old poster? You leave that right where it is. I have a sentimental interest in that sketch, if no one else has. Yes? Mr. Towley to see Miss Brown. Ask him to come in. Oh, Steve! Aren't you going to stay? With Mark Townley in the office? I certainly am. Oh! Oh, darling. Oh, man. Well, but... <clears throat> oh, hello, Morgan. Mr. Townley. Miss Brown. Hello, Mr. Townley. So nice of you to come. Well, since you turned down my invitation, what else could I do? Uh, this is another member of our staff, Mr. Sheffield. Oh? Hello, Mr. Sheffield. How do you do? Have a smoothie. Oh, no thanks. Never use them. Oh, won't you sit down? Thank you. Oh, Morgan, I'm sorry about your sketches, but I thought they liked punch. I thought they were pretty good myself. Well, there was an angle uh, I hope you like what I have to offer. Oh, I do. <clears throat> I mean, <laughs> I, I hope I will. <laughs> uh, uh, well, everything's... Won't you sit down? Thank George! You. I, uh, like what I see. Um, it seems to me they're overemphasizing the sex angle these days. Oh, no, that's smart salesmanship. Why, only the other day a burlesque queen, I mean, Broadway artist, told me it certainly pays off as the box office. Yes, but you're not advertising musical comedy, you're advertising cigarettes. Yes, yes, that's true. Let me see the next sketch. Oh, yes, of course. George. Oh, a, a smoothie? I'm a pipe smoker, remember? Oh, yes. God. <clears throat> mm -hmm. I don't get it. The sketch shows the distinguished gentleman alone on a tropical night. In the smoke from his smoothie cigarette is the memory of an old romance. Is that clear? Hmm. Oh, it's very clear. It tells the story at a glance. Yes, even though the story does imply that smoothies are drugged. Drugged? Hey, it might at that. Oh, now, Miss Brown, I don't want you to become too discouraged. After all, it was my fault for not telling you exactly what I had in mind and what I wanted to bring before the board of directors. You know, I think we should concentrate on feminine allure. But on one girl. A smoothie. A girl who would become positively identified with smoothie cigarettes. Well, what about the silhouette girl, the one in my first sketch? No, I want a real girl. A girl whose very appearance would mean only one thing. Smoothie cigarettes. Well, Mr. Townley, I'm afraid that would mean a long and extensive search for just the right model. I'm sure Mr. Townley won't mind that. I'm sure you wouldn't mind it either, Mr. Morgan. I've just one more sketch to submit. I wish you'd look at it. Certainly. Hubba, hubba. I'm afraid there's been some mistake. Well, that's no mistake. That's the girl I want. Oh, no. Oh, yes. You know, there's something about that picture. It reminds me of someone. It's, it's, it's... It's you. That's why the picture isn't for sale. Oh, ah, but the idea is. We'll duplicate the pose with another girl. Oh, no. I don't want another girl. And I don't want my employee plastered on a billboard. Oh, but she's not plastered yet. I, I mean, <laughs> I'll have to submit it to the board of directors. No. Since it's my picture. It's my picture. I beg your pardon, since it's a picture of me, shouldn't I be the one to say what you'd be done with it? That's logical. What do you say? We've made a deal. My smoothie girl. Hmm, very nice. Well, he didn't have to be so darn suggestive. Don't forget, it was your idea. You showed it to him. Well, if Townley wasn't a wolf, he wouldn't have gotten so excited about it. And just why have you been admiring it all these years? Well, he didn't have to use your face. What's her face got to do with it? <laughs> Thank you. Smoothie, long, 
cool, inviting. Heads back in the car, please. Going up. Uh-huh. Why, he isn't even old enough to smoke. <laughs> Better get used to it, dear. They aren't the only ones who'll be checking up on that billboard. See you at lunch, darling. These are for you, Miss Brown. For me? Oh, Steve. Don't look at me. Oh. Oh? Here's hoping the billboard will be the beginning of a long and happy association for us. My smoothie. Mark. Mark? Why is he so formal? Why doesn't he just sign it Lammy Pie? What difference does it make as long as he signs his right name on that contract? And I think I'll have him doing it very soon. Will you send these in, please? Mark. Oh! That does it. Lita, call Mark Tonley and tell him I just left for his office. Now, don't get me wrong, Tonley. I'm a firm believer in romance, but if you continue to send roses to Miss Brown during business hours, you can see how it might disrupt my entire organization. I'm sorry, Morgan. I hadn't considered that face of it, you see. I'm so completely fascinated by Pat. Yeah, yeah, but you're not the only one. Yeah, Martini? Who's he? Who's who? Martini. It's a drink. Have one? Oh, oh of course. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> but uh, even without the competition, it'll be a hopeless case. You see, Pat's heart set on a career, and <laughs> you know how it is with ambitious women. I should. They're the only kind I seem to meet. <laughs> Yes, they swear they can mix marriage and a career, but love usually ends up in second place. You know, I appreciate your interest, Morgan, but why this terrific concern about Pat and me? Well, we alone? Sure. I thought you might appreciate a suggestion that would end Pat's career and leave her with time on her hands. Yeah? Yeah, it would. Well, if she doesn't get that contract, it'd give me an excuse to fire her. Oh. You sound as though you want to fire her. Well, frankly, I do. I don't believe Pat belongs in our office. Or any office. I... But... But I... I practically promised the contract to Pat. Yeah, but why can't you tell her that the board of directors refuses to award it to a woman? Oh, never! You bitch! I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I lost my head. No, it, this type of maneuvering requires more subtle atmosphere. Sure, a more intimate spot. Like the, like the Budapest. That's it, the Budapest. Pest! Give me Miss Brown. I beg your pardon? Get me. Get me, Miss Brown. Why are we whispering? Now look, let me get this straight. I'll agree to have the board award the contracts to you if you agree to follow through by firing it. Is it a deal? Absolutely. But uh, you don't have to go to all that trouble to take it to the Budapest. Oh, it's no trouble at all, old man. I've got a violinist there who never fails me. Never fails? Never. Oh. Hello, Pat, darling. How about stepping out with me tonight? Tonight? Well, I'd love to, but I'm afraid I can't. Uh, Mr. Morgan's having another conference. Oh, no, he isn't. <laughs> How do I know? Are you having a conference tonight? Well, I... He says no. Steve knows you're taking me out? Knows it? <laughs> he practically suggested it. Oh. Practically suggested it? <sighs> well, you bet it's a date. I'll see you at seven. Bye. Goodbye. <clears throat> Vera, I'm going down the station and wait for her. Oh, come on, relax. She'll take a cab. Pat's perfectly safe. 
as far as the storm is concerned. Well, it's my own fault. I'm a regular Cupid, I am. Townley makes a date with my wife and I let him. Oh, she can handle Townley. After all, he is a gentleman, Wolf. Townley's a... Do That's probably George. God, I've been so worried about you. What would the... Uh, hello. Hello. Mark was kind enough to drive me home. How nice. Oh, well, it was raining and Pat told me she lived in this desolate spot and I... I... Ay, 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 ay. What are you doing here? I live here. You live here? Oh, good evening. You must be Mark Townley. Steve's told me so much about you. Oh, now I get it. Well, I don't. You're Mrs. Morgan. Oh, you fortunate fellow. And what a charming place you have here. <clears throat> here. Why don't we all get comfortable? Come along, darling, and whip up some drinks. Run in the kitchen to get some glasses. No. Well, smile. Ah, this is what I love. Uh, nice open fire. <laughs> Warms the cockles of my heart. Won't you sit down? Oh, thank you, Mrs. Morgan. Indeed, I will. Well, relax, sweetheart. Sit down. Mm. Aren't you crowding things a bit, darling? Come over here. Sit with me. Who's that? Oh, probably George. He's bringing over a contract he wants Steve to check. At this hour? Oh, you know, George, time means nothing. You, uh... You don't look very comfortable. I'm not. Uh, but I, I'm comfortable now, thank you. storm alone. Have you heard from Molly and Pat? Yes, they're here. They just arrived. The notorious Mark Townley? Mm-hmm. I'm going to meet him? Mm-hmm. I'm so excited. I'm simply bursting. I can see that. But before you do, there's something you should know. Steve and I are married now. Get it? Sure. Good. George, how can you say that? That hubby. Shh. Mother. Ahem. <clears throat> Uh, Mr. Townley, uh, this is Mrs. Sheffield. This is one of the most exciting moments of my life. Oh? What's up? Mother's a great admirer of yours, Mr. Townley. Really? Yes, indeed. I make George buy all the newspapers when you're having one of your breach of promise suits. Mother. I mean your promise breaches. Mother. You're right, George. It is plural. You have more than one, so it's breaches of promise of suits. Mm. I didn't think they showed. <laughs> oh, why don't we all uh, sit down? It's a good idea. No, thank you. You poor girl. Uh, me? I'm so sorry to hear about you and Steve. Oh, about Steve and me? Well, oh, uh, she means your little differences over affairs at the office. At the office? Hmm. Well, uh, good night, everybody. Oh, no, 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 you've got to stay a while. I'm sorry, but I wanted to get this card tonight so we could discuss it in the morning. Mr. Townley. Hmm? Yes? It's raining. You don't say. Oh. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's raining cats and dogs. In fact, it's raining so hard that you, you'd never make it back to town. Oh, we'd be awful glad to put you up at our place. Huh? Ha, <laughs> ha, Good old George. Isn't that swell of him, Townley? Yes. <laughs> Charming. Thanks. Just the same, George. But Mr. Townley's our guest, and we're keeping him right here. Oh, thank you, Mrs. Morgan. Oh, well, Vera, that's very sweet of you, but we only have two bedrooms. How many do we need? Well, if I... You can sleep with me, and the two boys can bunk together. I'll see you to the door. Good night. Good night. Good night, folks. Darling. Ooh! So nice of you, Mrs. Sheffield, to drop over. Thanks, Vera. Good night. Good night. Mother? Steve, how could you? And still share the same house. Mother! Good luck. 
Well, yes? Come along. Where are we going? It's bedtime, darling. Nighty-night. I don't want to go to bed. Oh, but remember, early to bed and early to rise makes a man healthy. I don't want to be healthy. <laughs> well, wealthy and wise. Yeah, 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 I know. I'm wise. Splendid fellow, Steve. Uh, yes. A little eccentric, but sterling character. Uh, yes. And he's lucky, too. Uh, why? He has a wife who understands him. Oh, yes, she does. Oh, oh she does? Uh, well, it's getting late. What about it? Well, we'd better go upstairs. Oh, uh, why? Uh, we're waiting for it. Who? Oh, let him wait. Oh, Steve won't like this. I, I mean that. Steve? What's he got to do with this? Well, he always likes me to be in bed early. Uh, so that I'll be at the office on time morning. Well, uh, come on. Worrying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why'd you lock the door? Keep you up here. And why didn't you let George take Tonley home? Oh, you know what a scatterbrain Mrs. Sheffield is. She'd be sure to let the cat out of the bag. Then where would your lovely contract be? You tell me you seem to know all the answers. Why, Steve, I was only thinking of Pat and you. Yeah. I guess maybe you're right. May we come in? Come in. Uh, the door is locked. Oh, just a minute. Uh, I do hope you two boys will be comfortable. Oh, I know we will. I hope we didn't, uh... Oh, I was just getting my things together. Yeah, she was just getting her things together. Getting late. Sweet dreams, my beloved. See what I mean? Yes, I can see what you mean. Good night, Mr. Townley. Good night. Oh, Adira, you forgot. Me. And you forgot to say sweet dreams, my friend. Uh, see you in the morning. Uh, don't worry. I'll be there on time. Good night. Good night. You're a regular slave driver. Bleeding. Oh! What are you getting so excited about it, your wife's? <laughs> it is. Isn't it? Oh, Vera. I'm not the jealous type, but oh, no. I pat that little kiss didn't mean anything. I was just adding a little for Mark's benefit. Oh. Well, um, congratulations. You gave a great performance. as your boss is going to be. Come in. Come in. Come in. 
I am in. Hello, sugar. Baby. Darling. Hello, honey boy. Why'd you stand me up last night? Why? I? I was called away on business. Didn't my valet tell you? Your valet told me he didn't know where you were. And he was still telling me that the last time I called. At 5 o'clock this morning. Uh, Who is she? Who? Oh. <laughs> oh, you know there isn't anyone else. Sugar. There won't be if she ever comes within shocking distance of me. <sighs> well, darling, what do we do tonight? Uh, tonight? Tonight. Oh, yes. Well, I don't think I can make it tonight because I own business, you know. Yeah. And I'm getting the business. You know, I haven't been in that front page for a long, long time. That's right. And it's been weeks since you've been handed a breach of promise suit. Hmm. You'll make it tonight. Goodbye, honey boy. Goodbye, sugar. Get, get, get Steve Morgan on the phone. Tell him to meet me at the Epicure for lunch. I want to discuss, uh, contracts. Well, now we can get down to business. Oh, contract. Well, uh, before I sign it, I'd like to ask a favor, Steve, old man. Sure, anything at all. Just name it. Well, it's this way. A couple of months ago, I heard about a dancer at the First Street Follies who was using a smoothie cigarette gag in her act. Naturally, I was curious. Naturally? Yes. Well, after the performance, I went backstage to congratulate her, you know. Naturally. I took her out. After that, we became quite friendly. One night, very foolishly, I proposed. Who was the girl? Sugar Lee. Oh, Sugar Lee, huh? Oh, you know her too, huh? Yeah. yeah. I saw her overseas with the USO troop. But I didn't get any closer than the first row. You didn't? I wish I didn't get any closer than the first row. Well, what do you want me to do about it? You've got to convince her our engagement is a mistake. Yeah, but how? It's easy. It's easy. She's expecting me tonight, but you go in my place. No, wait up. You've got to get it and listen to reason. It's a must. But what about the contract? The contract. The con how can I think about a contract in my condition? I'll sign it when you make good. Wait a the check, please. Yeah, no, but... No, no, no. This one's on me. <laughs> Thanks a lot, old man. Oh, Vera. Yeah. Are these layouts ready to go? Yes, they're finished. Thank you. Hi, Pat. Oh. Hello, darling. Hey, why didn't you join us for lunch today? Yes, we missed you. Well, I uh, had an unexpected appointment. A new prospect. Oh, how wonderful. Who is it? Well, I'll... Uh, Tell you all about it when something breaks. Oh, oh! By the way, we'll uh, we'll be leaving the office early this afternoon. I want to get home and change clothes and get back to town. Same prospect. Same prospect. I'll, I'll get, get it. it. Oh. <laughs> Brown speaking. Oh, hello, Mark. Uh, tonight? Well, um, uh, uh, just a moment. He wants me to have dinner with him. He says he has something for me. It's the contract. Go on. He has a date he's not telling you about, hasn't he? Go on. All right, Mark, I'll go. Uh, what time and where? Oh, the circus room. How wonderful. I've never been there. All right. Bye. Steve, I just hate meddling in your affairs this way, but Pat's unhappy. Why don't you tell her more about this mysterious date of yours? No can do. Why not? Because it's with Sugar Lee. Sugar? The burlesque queen? Why, Steve. Well, now, wait a minute. Don't get me wrong. I'm doing this for Townley. He's woke himself into another situation, and he wants me to get him out. Before he'll sign the contract, I'll bet. That's right. 
I guess I'd better tell Pat. Oh, no. No, Steve, you were right. She'd never understand. Yes, but what if she should find out about it? Oh, you can depend on me. I won't mention a word of it. Not one single word. Vera, you're a pal. Come in, Mark. Well, you made it. And early, too. I'll be with you in a minute, honey boy. But you'll have to zip me up. I can only work a zipper one way. <gasps> Who are you? Steve Morgan. I'm substituting for Mr. Townley. Another business trip? Well, not exactly a trip. Just business. <laughs> I'll bet. Yeah. Me? From Mark. Oh, don't give me that. Mark's strictly a gardenia boy. You bought them to soften me up. Why? Come on, let's have it. Well, he wanted me to discuss a little situation with you. Could we go someplace and talk? No. Oh. I'll talk all right, but to Mark Townley personally. Excuse me. Catch. Hello? Uh, Miss Lee? If you'd like to know who Mark Townley's new girlfriend is, you can find out tonight at the circus room. Who is this? Come in. Sit down, sit down. Uh, Mr. Uh, what's your name? Morgan. Yeah. Well, look, I'm very sorry I blew up. Uh, I'm really very anxious to hear what it is Mark wants you to tell me. You may take me to the circus room. Of course. Well, okay. Make with the zipper. Who, me? Yeah. You said you were substituting for Mark Townley. Well, get off your bench and substitute. Yeah. Ah! Careful, kid. Not bad. You don't smoke, do you? Uh-oh. You know, I like you. They're nice people. I'm sorry, sir, but... <clears throat> You'll have to zip me up again. Somebody tripped me. <laughs> Why, Steve Morgan. Well, Pat. Uh, well, if it isn't Mark Town. <laughs> it's a small world, isn't it? Yes, it's almost too small. <clears throat> well, I guess everybody knows everybody. Except maybe, uh, <laughs> this is my, um... A business associate? <laughs> this is Miss Brown, Miss Lee. Sugar Lee. How do you do? How do you do? Yes, well, we, we were just leaving. Leave. Well, good night. What's your hurry? We just got here. I have no hurry, but they're just leaving. <laughs> the waiter, the check. They haven't paid yet, and they can't get out until they do. I know. Come on, let's sit down and keep them company. Ah, oh, Sugar, you're a lucky girl. Lucky? Steve Morgan, president of Morgan Advertising Agency. Is that good? He gets 15% of their gross business. That bad? 15% of 50 or 60 million? Oh, that is good. So you're Steve's new prospect. I wish I were. Well, I mean, uh, just what are you interested in advertising? Myself. You seem to be doing all right without an agency. <laughs> well, Variety rates me the queen of burlesque. And um, Mr. Townley has been very enthusiastic about my work, too. Haven't you, Mark? Oh, terribly. And how does Mr. Morgan feel about it? Oh, he hasn't seen my act yet. But you will, handsome. You'll see a lot of me from now on. Yes, sir. From now on, my little date book is exclusively yours. I'm canceling all other engagements. You are? I thought that would interest you. Mm -hmm. Aw, now don't act so uncomfortable. You weren't so uncomfortable in my dressing room. <laughs> Mark, I have a splitting headache. Oh, we'll leave at once. Your partner. Pat, if you'd only... 
Pat, please. Good night. Have fun. I'll only be a minute, darling. Steve, darling. Relax. Relax yourself. He's gone. Don't have to make him jealous any longer. Well, I wasn't putting on an act. Hmm? Mm -hmm. You're not a substitute anymore, handsome. You've made the first team. But, Miss Lee, I think maybe we better have a little talk. Uh, 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 uh. You've convinced me without talking. Decided to give up, Mark. For you. But, Miss Lee... Mr. Morgan. Yes, yes. From Mr. Towns. Thank you. Would you care to order now, sir? Huh? Oh, oh, no thanks. I have everything I want. Yes, sir. Oh, Steve, darling. Did you really mean it? Huh? Hmm? Oh, wait a minute. Don't get me wrong. I, 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 I contract. Oh. Oh, how could he? Oh, Pat, if Steve wants to step out, that's his wife's problem. It certainly is. I mean, well, Vera's my dearest friend, and she simply adores him. Not half as much as I adore you. By the way, you haven't asked about the surprise I have for you. Oh. Oh, yes. Well, I hadn't forgotten. Uh, can I guess? One guess. The contract? Yeah. It's a contract. Contract for life. Oh. For the first time in my life, I'm really in love. Pat, I want to marry you. Oh, Mark, I'm terribly sorry. I'm already married. Oh, no. Well, I know it was a horrible thing to do, but... Well, I, I thought for business reasons that it was best that people didn't know about it. Are you in love with him? I hate him. Good. I loathe him. Oh, wonderful. Keep talking. I hope I never see him again. Oh, it's terrific. And we'll keep this little hunk of ice on ice, huh? Oh, now, Pat. No, Pat, don't do that, huh? Oh. Ah. Uh. Sorry. Yeah, that's better. <laughs> Hello, Vera. Well, guess what? I got the town league contract. <laughs> yeah. Uh huh. Oh, and look, Vera. If Pat gets home before I do, will you please explain what I was doing out with Sugar Lee? Yes, dear. I'll fix everything up. Goodbye. Darling, what's the matter? It's Steve. I'm leaving him. Oh, now, Pat, just because he had a business engagement he's not telling you about? A business engagement? There was a date. With that horrible woman, Sugar Lee. Oh, you should have seen them together. The way she... She caressed him. What did Steve do? He... He zipped her. He what? Yes, I heard her say so. Careful, kid, or you'll have to zip me up again. Oh, Vera. I'd hoped Steve would get over this before you found out. You mean that this has been going on before tonight? Oh. Well, that settles it. I'm going to leave this house this minute. And I'm going to Reno and divorce Steve. Now, marry Mark Townley. Oh, no, Pat. Oh, you just watch me. That's what I'm going to do. I'll get even with him. I'll marry him. Oh. Hello, Tonley. 
This is Steve Morgan. Before things get any more complicated than they are, there's something I think you should know. Pat is already married. Oh, I know all about it. You what? Yeah, she told me tonight. She also told me she hates the guy. Hey, Steve, I wonder if friend husband's anybody we know. He certainly is. I happen to be friend husband. You dirty double crossing. You're telling me? So you see what I'm up against. You just gotta help me. Well, I've had all kinds of experiences. But this is the first time a guy's asked me to talk his wife into taking him back. Well, I'd do it myself if she and Vera weren't registered at that hotel. A women only. A man hasn't got a chance of getting in there. Why don't you call her up? Oh, I've tried. She won't talk to me. So it's up to me, huh? Okay, here's a little idea that might do the trick. Well, let's have it. Let's have it. Well, it's a routine we used in our show. Brother, did we slay the people? Now, let's see. Uh, it was in a doctor's office. He was a horse doctor, and I was the horse's nurse. Now, as a scene open... Just a minute. There are no men allowed upstairs. But he's a doctor. I... I have an emergency call from Mrs. Steve Morgan. What room is she in, please? Well, she's in 1618. But I didn't know that she was expecting a doctor. Are you sure that she's the one you want to see? I am positive. Hold that elevator. Oh, miss. Nurse, to you. If I could only forget this whole sordid mess. But I can't. You will. Other women have been just as much in love as you and survived separation. But I still love Steve. Besides, if I were free, I'd only have to marry Mark. Come in. Oh, Baby. God. Steve Morgan, you get out of here. Honey, please. Don't honey me. Oh, that woman. You have a nerve to bring that woman here. Sugar just came to explain. And you're going to listen to Sugar. Pat doesn't want to listen to you. And who asked you to stick your puss in this? Pat, please. Oh, now don't you touch me. I happen to be a friend of both Mr. and Mrs. Morgan. When this usual, I'm only a friend of the husband. Pat, let me explain. But he's in trouble and I'm going to get him out. You get out of here. Oh. Well, get out Crazy. of here. You he's in trouble, all right. Oh. Can't. He's dead. It's all your fault. My fault? You hit him. It's all right, baby. I'm all right. Uh, I'm going to have you both arrested. Hmm. Hurry it up, flat face. That's him. I'm Jefferson O'Neill, Mr. Townley's attorney. Oh, stop bragging. <clears throat> In order to avoid any unpleasant notoriety, Mrs. Morgan and the hotel management have agreed to drop all charges. Provided... Oh, mm, here it comes. <clears throat> provided that you uh, make no further attempt to see, speak to, or in any way molest your wife. You sign, please? Repent. You're not going to. What else can I do? I'm, uh, I'm sorry it had to happen this way, Mr. Morgan. Yeah, I can see the tears in your big brown eyes. I'll arrange for your release immediately. Hey, you! Are you Mark Tolley's legal eagle? I'm his attorney. Then you handle all his breach of promise suits. Naturally. Well, glad I know you. Goodbye. I'll be suing you. No, you... You heard what I said. And I ain't kidding either. I'm going to bleed that guy out of every cent he's got. And then I'm going to get everybody I know to stop smoking smoothie cigarettes. Hey, isn't that Townley's advertising contract? Yep. $150,000 worth of unhappiness. That's a lot of meek and nylons. 
Who cares? Thanks, sugar. Well, it's been swell, Steve. What gives now? I'm going to California. Alone? Alone. I was afraid of that. Oh, it's clutter enough to the all. Hey, what are you doing? Dump it. Just a minute, Humpty Dumpty. All the king's horses and all the king's men might just put Humpty Dumpty back together again. Sugar, you're on in five. I'm always on. They told me at the police station that they'd release Steve. I thought maybe he might be here with you. <laughs> He's back at that screen putting on some baggy pants. I'm using him in the act. Come on now, where is he? He needs me. He needs you like I need a hole in my head. Say, you're the dame who told me to go to the circus room. I did no such thing. Oh, I did no such thing. I know that voice of yours anywhere. So now that you split up Steve and his wife, you ought to grab him off for yourself. <laughs> nice going, sister. You cheap little gold digger. Gold digger, maybe. But not cheap. And I've never split up a couple who were happily married. <gasps> Ooh. You shouldn't have done that. Hey, Sugar, you're on. Put me on later. What did you say? I'll be back in time to close the show. Hey, who is... Take is... it easy, Punchy. Just tell the janitor to sweep her up with the rest of the dirt. Pat. Not interested. May I help you? Get lost. Packing for Reno, I suppose. Couldn't you even wait until I'd gone before taking possession? I'm not moving in, Mrs. Morgan. But that phony girlfriend of yours is sure angling for a lease. You're not going anywhere. <gasps> You're not going to get away with that either. Girl, stop that. Oh! Oh! You poor darling, I'm so sorry. Where's the first aid kit? Never mind the first aid kit. I'm going to the doctor. But how will I ever explain this to Mother? Oh, oh he can take care of his eye. You take care of your husband. I thought that was your department now. It never was. I'm not Steve's girl. I'm engaged to Mark. That was quite obvious at the circus room. Now, you listen to me. Nothing in that circus room was on the level. I went there because I was tipped off I'd find Mark there with his new girlfriend. And the tip-off came from your pal, Vera. Vera? Yeah, I told you she wants to move in. I don't believe you. Steve had to take me out in order to get Mark to sign this. It's the contract. Who tore it up? Steve. He didn't figure it was worth all the unhappiness it caused. Where is he now? Packing, I guess. He's headed for California. Sugar, I... I'm sorry. Oh, that's all right. I can take it. Now you wait here till I get back. Well, what for? Because I'm cutting you in on this contract. Lisa, I'm going home. <laughs> Hello. Here you. Are you ready to leave? Uh, no. Uh, oh, hold it. My new associate will explain everything. You're new. Oh, Mark. Uh, uh. Hello, sugar. I want to talk to you. Yeah, I... I... <laughs> Get in there, you big lug. Hello, Vera. I'm going with you. Glad somebody wants to see me off. Oh, you don't understand. Don't understand what? You'll be opening a new office in California. You can't run an agency without an artist and a photographer. Ah, that's awfully nice of you, Vera, but don't you think you'd better stay with Pat? Pat has Mark Townley now. Yeah, that's right. She doesn't need me. And even if she did, I wouldn't want to stay. Don't flatter yourself. You wouldn't be asked. Pat, baby. Uh-uh, uh-uh. 
Remember that paper you signed? You agreed not to uh, see, speak to, or in any way molest your wife. Uh, I'm so glad Steve isn't going to be alone. He needs someone to take care of him. <laughs> Darling, then you're not angry? How absurd. I came home just to drive you two to the station. But, Pat, if you'd uh, only... Uh, 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 uh. Better hurry, folks. Your train's about to leave. Darling, have a wonderful trip. And when you get there, be sure to write to me. <laughs> oh, Pat, you are precious. I had no idea you'd take it the way you have. Well, we're all modern, aren't we? Modern. Uh. What? Oh, well, goodbye, darling. <laughs> goodbye, dear. You don't mind if I have a little chat with Steve? Yeah, but... Well, in spite of our agreement, we have a few financial matters that we simply must discuss. <laughs> of course not. Don't be long. Uh, goodbye. Uh, uh, well? Well, um, uh, what about the house? It's all yours. Oh, and, um, and, well, uh, what about the business? That's all yours, too. Oh. I want you to be independent. In case Tony doesn't treat you right, you can tell him where to go. Oh. All clear. Well, um, what'll I, um, what'll I do with the war bonds? You can have those, too. Oh. It's funny, isn't it? I kind of thought we might use those to get the kids started in school. Yes, I, I had a few foolish plans about that, too. One should never plan things, should they? No. No, they never turn out right, do they? No. Something always happens, doesn't it? Board? Oh, oh, Steve! Aren't you going to... Oh, darling, I'm so tired of being a businesswoman. I've been thinking about staying home for a little while. For 50 years, to be exact! Oh, baby. Oh, oh, have you got my ring? Yeah, but... I promise never to take it off again. Oh. With this ring, I... I the win. win. Hey, my bag's on that train. Yes, I know. And I hope she likes it out in California. <laughs> oh.